Hey, old Kitty's drinking out of that water thing. It's the one I'm going to show you right here in a minute with uh, testing the can on. But I'm going to tell you one thing. One thing about devices like this, it's like uh, they pretty much don't wear out. Just like, you know, the Power Zapper Uzi 3, which I use every day. Well, I'm also going to do is get recharging the battery, rechargeable batteries. It doesn't really wear out, you know. A couple little things you might have to do with the wires or maybe this. you got to change that cantilever. In the case of the Power Zapper, you might have to fix the paddle or some paddles once in a while. But very little money, minimal money once you freaking buy it. You know, unlike uh, a lot of supplements and stuff, you keep paying money, right? So, uh, you know, that's the value. That's why I got another one of these coming. Well, you see those bubbles coming out of that water? That's coming out of the nose cantilla for the uh, HHO machine I'm using. By the way, my kitty cat, he always, he always drink out of this little cup. It's my uh, Metcalf, you know, motorcycle cup. You always use distilled water, but, you know, I'm going to tell you, I'm probably going to have to get a better thing than this mason jar here because um, it's, I think, well, I think the tip got messed up or something. So I used a little truck bit line, uh, but, um, shoe goo, and also push it down with, uh, what do you call that stuff, Gorilla tape, a little strip of it, so it holds it down. But that's something you might want to check for because it was working with this. In other words, you could see the air coming through this and it would be bubbling up in the water with the, uh, the bubbler, um, the water, whatever you call that, the uh, air diffuser, whatever the heck that is to uh, make HHO water. I was doing that in this thing, right? This thing was full of water. Well, I was working there, so I'm thinking it's working fine. Well, it, it takes a little more resistance to go through this because you can see these little lines here, they get smaller. And these cantaloupes, they wear out, man. They actually get, um, the rubber gets, it shrinks, and this, this gets smaller diameter in here. So I got this in here, you can see, all the bubbles coming out, so the freaking thing's working, right? See that? That's the way you, you want to verify this stuff. Because just probably a few days I was using this, it wasn't really working for crap. So, you know, the air wasn't coming, the HHO gas wasn't coming out. So, I figured I'd warn you on this, all right? And uh, there is better bubblers out there that you can buy. But I didn't have any problem with that mason jar thing. I got like a dozen of them with the silicone gaskets. They were cheap off of Amazon, and, uh, you know, maybe it's not going to be a problem from now on. I don't know, but I, you got to watch. You got you should verify that the, the, the HHO is coming out of this when, uh, you know, when you put it in the water like that, you can see it working because there is more resistance to push through this first versus just going through that uh, stone diffuser. So it's out of their water right now. See that? See that, though? It works fine. It works fine. So... I'm using the hell out of it. I got another unit coming. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get it, have time to get out in the sun, but what I'd like to do is get out in the sun for even 30 minutes or an hour a day, take the other unit, set that thing up as a foot bath, and then sit in there like that and just do that. But you know what happens? I'm just so busy, I just freaking get sidetracked. can't even have freaking time for myself to freaking do any damn thing. And uh, these videos eat up a lot of time too, so... You know, if you want to put five bucks in a PayPal over Vitude Vich, or whatever, five or ten or whatever, fine. I appreciate it very much. I don't waste any money. And uh, I'm experimenting with stuff. And I'll be also putting, uh, uploading other videos on the American Russian Survival Channel. I've got some good deals on things. You can find um, some good... It's not bad to deal on e eBay because um, I got this off of eBay. If you want to buy one of these, this is not made for freaking breathing the gas. But this is the one that George Wiseman rebuilds. He puts a lot more safety features in it, but man, for freaking twenty five hundred bucks, I'm like, damn, he freaking that's pretty damn steep, man. So the first one of these I got was one hundred twenty five. The cheapest one I could find was one thirty five shipping. All you do is look up HHO torch, and you'll find these. Just watch out. Sometimes they'll try to charge you three hundred bucks for shipping or some crap. Look for free shipping or ten bucks shipping or something, and. Uh, the thing is, you gotta watch the water levels. There's no like, there's no alarm or auto shut off at the water level, and it's hard to read that meter down there. It's not that easy to read it. Right now, it's full right to the top. So everything's good to go. Just put new distilled water in the, the two bubblers. The one bubbler is that one. The other one's this. So, but yeah, I'm just telling you, we're verified that that candle is working. I thought it was working.
because the the stone thing was working that thing right there that was working fine that was working fine that stone thing right and I'm thinking well it's working well there's more resistance going through this this line it's not because the line is longer it's down here in the end you see down here in the end it gets skinnier that's why it might not be enough to push it through if there's, if there's the slightest leak hydrogen is some real small stuff man they ain't like oxygen. You know, you know how it is with uh, you know sealing something up if it's for water. Yeah, it'll seal pretty good. If you put air in it, it might not seal as perfect, right? Uh, hydrogen is like real small, man. Well, that's why the HHO gets in all parts of your body. So here I'm drinking some espresso in uh, Cooter's Garage Cup. I got my liposomal vitamin C. And uh, anyway, that's enough. I'll tell you some other stuff. Maybe I'll bitch you. And this thing runs too low. That's Goldie the cat. Hi, little baby. If this thing run, I ran it low before, you know, because I don't have an alarm on it, and I was using it overnight, and it went low. I did that before, even though I filled it up. Uh, what happens is, well, if you turn it on, it takes a long time to come on if it's too low, because I screwed up, I screwed up. The other thing is, it starts pushing more of the electrolyte into the bubblers. I guess that's because it's bubbling up inside there a lot. I don't know. But I did that. But I didn't break it. So, and then some of the water start coming through here, and you'll know that too. So, I've done, I screwed up on it before. But, you know, I don't run it, I don't run it at full power. That's the one thing. I put like one and a half teaspoons of electrolyte, pure lye, and it's still water. And uh, so, I, I got it running like lower. I got just a hair more than that. I might have like one and, uh, I might have almost two teaspoons of electrolyte in it right now, but still no, it's not running anywhere near what it needs to, you know, where, where it could run. But the thing is, you don't need it that high for the health benefits. You don't, you know, you don't run it at full power. Like if you get the George Wiseman unit, you don't freaking run at full power unless you're using a topical application. So, I mean, it's a cheap, poor's way, poor man's way of getting away from things. And uh, gotta watch your money, man. And uh, you know, hopefully I. You know, if you do this, just be freaking careful. I mean, this gas is explosive, but let me say this: you got a gas range, right, with a pilot light. I mean, is a, is a, you got gas, natural gas in your home a lot of times for heat. I mean, just use your freaking head and common sense. I mean, you light matches with barbecue lighters, right, and use lighter fluid on barbecue lighters, and you set up firecrackers in the summertime on July Fourth. I mean. You know, it's not like, you know, they're selling this as a water torch. Okay, fine. But, you know, it doesn't mean that it's going to blow up on you because it's a water torch. I mean, it's the same gas. It's the same gas. The HHO was used for a fuel or a fuel assist or better burning of gasoline in engines. And also it's used as a water torch. And it's used for health purposes as a, um, a nutrient basically that's what it is our body has hydrogen and oxygen in it split up in separate elements and this also has an electrical charge put into it because the way it's made in the plate so it's got more electrons it's it's basically what goes on in your body in your gut that it makes your body makes hydrogen the problem is today with all the foods we got that destroys your bioflora you know where you're not even getting anywhere near the freaking hygiene you need and you're not getting optimal levels it's basically a nutrient you know I know you know I'm gonna I'm gonna see something with Susan later well I'm gonna put it on here if I can find it I can't find a clip right now but it's basically Susan Wojcinski saying that anything on YouTube they say that does this for the virus or whatever vitamin C and all this kind of crap which is absolutely proven to be an antivirus side they're going to delete the video. So, go over to Bitch Shoot, man. I mean, these guys, I mean, who the hell knows long, how long Bitch Shoot's going to last, you know? Couldn't play the video freaking somehow it corrupted, see? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, what are you going to do? I mean, you know, this this is, we, we don't have much longer for a window of freedom of internet, period. I can tell you that right now. Bitch Shoot's one of the few, it, it, there's a few other ones out there. But you got to get away from the big gorilla on the block right now, you know? YouTube is great. And if you look at the YouTube videos way back seven years ago, I watched some of the videos from way se well, years ago. I'm saying, that's a good video. It's put up by real people. Everybody today, even if they're a real person,
they're, they got in the back of their mind, like, what does YouTube want? What, what could get me in trouble? So they, they don't, they're not natural. Not, nothing's like, everything's like a rehearsed bunch of bullshit. So it's a crappy platform now. It's not that good. Well, yeah, I'm not, now I'm not playing their game. So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, whatever. But I don't really give it, I don't give, I don't get into the politics too much. The health stuff, well, I look at it like this, you know. <laughs> People want to ignore it, which works. I don't give a shit. I personally look at it like this, you know. Doctors know about this vitamin C crap for what? 75 years every year freaking 50 to 7 50 to 60 or 70 thousand people die of your flow they give a massive dose of vitamin c by in, by intravenous injection every one of them alive will have been alive right so I look at it like this the doctors are complicit in, in uh killing people just as many people as they did in vietnam every year just from that one thing the flow and susan's all part of that shit so you know I got a cold black heart when it comes to some stuff. I'm a nice guy when it comes to other stuff, but I'll tell you, you know, when I saw 911 coming down, those two stupid buildings, I was like, yeah, so what? I didn't give a shit. World Trade Center, the globalist. Yeah, goodbye. And I figured out what it was later after, right, not a couple days later, I said, yeah, that was bullshit. Yeah, so if California cracks off and falls in the ocean, hey, no problem. Eh, and have an espresso coffee some vitamin C and celebrate it. Right, kitty cat? So I just go up on YouTube anyway. I don't give a shit. I mean, really. I got this stuff I'm going to be putting up in that American Russian Survival Channel. Some of the shit I bought. You can take a look at it. I want to tell you, there's some good deals out there. You freaking got to search, though, all right? And if you want to support the channel, you got to go to BitChute. I don't, I, don't, I don't have a PayPal or any kind of crap like that on YouTube because I want you to go over to BitChute if you want to support me. I don't want you getting in a habit of freaking going to this YouTube shit. Although I'm putting videos up there, I want you getting in a habit of going to bitch you. Alright, thank you. Bye.